Bill's Toggery in Shakopee has been owned by the Warmest Gershon family for three generations. Yeah, it's, it, yeah. But Billy Warmest Gershon. So business has definitely been affected, no doubt. Is the first to see it through a pandemic like this. March, we were down 40%. Um, the month of April, we're going to be down about 85%. He wants to open his doors again and thinks as a small business, he could do it safer than the big retailers. We go in these larger stores without naming them. It, they can be a zoo and not many restrictions are followed by, you know, and whether you believe it or not, it's just, it's there, they're open, it's happening. Um, you know, I just feel there's a bit of a slight against the independence because I can control traffic coming in that door a lot easier than a big business can. There's a reason they come in our doors, and that's that personal connection. Elise Steger co-owns neighboring business Chakra Yoga and Fitness and says if given time, they could safely adjust their studio to reopen for a smaller number of people. Kind of that frustration of like, why do some certain businesses get to open while we can't, when we can follow the same guidelines. It's a huge financial loss for sure. Barbara Demers owns the Pearl Salon. Even if she could open, she doesn't know that she would. But the closure has been a big hit and she's taken out a loan to keep going. At what cost? Um, I don't know how far in debt I want to go just to keep my business open. Tough times for businesses everywhere as they hope to stay open for generations to come. It's about survival right now for us. The National Federation of Independent Business, which advocates for small businesses, said today that they're disappointed in the governor's update today. They wish more would have been done to level the playing field between small businesses and big box retailers. Randy? All right, thank you. A word